Hello everyone. In this video we're going to install Node.js in our Linux Mint virtual machine. The first thing we want to do is go to the Node.js website and that is located at nodejs.org. You can pick either the stable version or the long-term support version. Um, I go with the long-term support personally. Click on the downloads link and since we're installing this in Linux we want to install Node via package manager and since Linux Mint is a Debian Ubuntu based Linux distro we're going to click on this link and that'll show us two commands we have to run in order to install Node.js in Linux Mint. So we'll just copy these commands and if your virtual machine is still new, then you will probably have to install curl. So we're going to do sudo apt git install curl. And that will give us the curl tool so that when we paste in our command that we copied from the Node.js website, it'll run. Okay, so what that's doing is adding the Node.js repository to our list of, to our mirror list, so that we can find Node.js from there. And now we just copy this and paste it in, run it. Once this finishes downloading, it'll install and we will have node.js so now you can check do node.js-v and it'll show you the version of node.js and along with node.js we also get npm which is the node package manager so you can do npm-v and it'll show you the version for the npm uh, one more thing we want to do is we want to tell npm where to install the global packages that we are going to install in it. So if we don't do this then you'll have to type sudo every time you want to install something globally with npm. So if we do npm config set prefix and we're going to set it to our home directory slash npm. So what we have to do if we look at the directories we have we can see we don't have an npm directory we can do mkdir npm and now we have an npm directory and that is where npm is going to install all of its global programs and one more thing we have to do is we want to create a bash rc file if we go to accessories go to text editor if you try to open go to your home directory right click and check show hidden files and you would see a bash rc file it would be dot bash rc if it exists you just want to open it up if it doesn't exist then you want to create it so we'll call this we we'll go save as and we'll call this dot bash rc we save it in your home folder and in our bash rc file we want to just type export path equals and we want to put it in our home directory slash npm slash bin because it's going to store the executables in the npm bin folder and then we want to just add whatever was already in our path so now that that's done you can you can either close your terminal and open it up again so that those changes will take effect or you can just type dot home directory slash dot bash rc and that will make the changes that we just made in bash rc show up in the terminal so now if we do uh, echo path you can see that our changes have taken effect so now anything we install using npm install dash g so anything we install globally with npm will show up here and be executable 
so our, our command prompt will look in this bin folder to find the executables so let's give it a try let's do npm install dash g bower so now npm is going to install bower globally and if we wouldn't have done the npm config set prefix we would have had to type sudo npm install dash g bower and it would have installed it in our user lib directory but anyways now if we go to which bower you can see that bower will be run from our home npm bin folder so that's it that's installing node.js on linux mint and setting it up so you don't have to use sudo when you install things globally all right thanks for watching